River Monsters has made quite a splash on the Animal Planet channel. The hit show follows biologist and extreme angler Jeremy Wade on his global search for dangerous and exotic freshwater fish. And Jeremy is here with some of his discoveries this morning. Good morning, Jeremy. Good morning, Maggie. Congrats on your show. A Thank lot you. of people really love it, and, and they're yeah. baffled by your fascination with these creatures that are huge sometimes and very dangerous. Well, I think that fascination, it reflects my fascination. Rivers, it's sort of the last frontier of wildlife filmmaking. The, the water tends to be murky. You can't just drop a cameraman in there and film stuff like you can in coral reefs. So nobody knows what's there. And there's stuff that's very big, uh, very toothy, very fierce looking. It's, it's a bit like looking for UFOs underwater, Ooh. but you actually get to see them. I put a line in and pull them out. One of the things that you caught was a red-tailed catfish. Mm. We have a small one by comparison here. How big was the one that you caught on the show? Um, I caught one about five foot long. They grow bigger than that. The, 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 there are stories that they will grab hold of children and take them down. Um, I'll try and get this one out. Okay, go ahead. Um, catfish are very uh, interesting fish. It might not cooperate because there's, there's also a little stingray down there that I don't want to. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, Ooh. catfish are, oops. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that, that's, that's it sort of breathing. That's air going over its gills. That's sort of um, slightly sort of flatulent noise there. Uh, catfish live in the dark. He doesn't like being waters. out of water. No, no, I'll put him back in. There we go. But you can see, you get the general idea. This uh -huh. one's quite docile. There we go. What are those, so, we, what we often see with catfish, the whiskers? What, what yeah. are they actually called and what are they good uh, for? Just feelers. I mean, they, they, they smell with those. I mean, it's a bit like oh. our noses turned inside out. So, that, so they feel, because they live in murky water, they can't see very well. Most catfish have got small eyes. And so they are tasting the water. Um, they're also very good at feeling vibrations. That's actually through the air bladder in the body. But in Japan, they found that catfish can actually detect the signs of earthquakes before people or, or sometimes scientific instruments. So you keep a catfish, keep, keep an eye on that. That's fascinating. And it will tell you when there's an earthquake. We have some video, because we have a tiny little stingray here, but we have some video that I'd like to show of you catching a stingray that was just a little tiny bit bigger than this one, wasn't it? Wee bit bigger. Yeah. <laughs> How much? Yeah. How much bigger? Um, it was too big to weigh. Um, I think there's about eight of us trying to sort of get it out of the water. But um, about 400, 400 pounds, about six feet across. How long did it take you to catch this? Uh, well, I had another one which unfortunately escaped, one of those fisherman stories. I had on for two hours. Two hours. Yeah. And what happens if they sting you? Um, at the moment, there's no antidote. Got, there's a, the, the spine is barbed. It can be up to sort of like eight or ten inches long. It's got very sort of thick, nasty, uh, slimy venom on there, and it's very painful. Um, your heart races, and it leaves a very nasty wound as well. That didn't enter your mind at all? Didn't deter you at all? Um, <laughs> I, 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 do, I kept as far as I could away from it, okay. you know, within reason. I yeah. was telling the gentleman outside that you once caught a fish that had teeth like a great white, and they didn't believe me. No, that's absolutely true. Do you true. have photographic proof? Uh, we do, yes. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's here. Roll but, the tape, uh, please. It... What is the fish called? It's called a Goliath tigerfish, and it's actually... Goliath a, it's, it's, tigerfish. It's a relative... Oh, yeah. that's true! <laughs> oh, my gosh. So those teeth are about an inch long, and that is about the same size as the teeth on a thousand pound great white shark. And that lives in a, in a river in the Congo. And if you're down there washing your pots and pans or your clothes or yourself, you know, one of those could be literally lurking a few feet away, and they go for things that splash in the water. Oh, so no. you know, not a nice thing to, to live in the same river that, that you do. Oh my goodness. All right, let's move over here. I thought mm. these were goldfish. And my producer said, put your hand in and touch one. They're gold, they're gold. That wasn't very good advice, they're, was it? They're goldfish with attitude. I'll try and get one out, actually. They may, they're actually piranhas, right? They are piranhas. <laughs> they may or may not cooperate. They, you know, they, they will go, well, a pack of them will go after something the size of a horse. Whoops. You hear piranhas. They, they really are as bad as people say. Hold on, I'm just... There we, concentrate. There we go. This is, now, it might bite its way out of the... Even this little piranha could harm me? I've, this little yeah, tiny yeah, yeah. One? In fact, the, the smaller ones are harder to... Uh, Harder to get hold of. Whoops. Here we go. So you can just see, I'll just show you the teeth there quickly. Whoops. And just smile. See. Smile, please. Oh. Teeth. Can you, oh, you can and, appreciate uh, him really, aren't you? Gr What's grunt, he saying? Grunt, he's grunting, actually. I won't hold him too close to my ear. Can you hear the grunt? I really can't, I'll, but that's I'll, okay. I'll put it back. Put it back. <laughs> that's okay. I, want, I like and my ear. When they bite, apparently, it, the teeth are so sharp that you actually don't feel. You, you just look and you've got a piece of your, miss, your finger missing. Oh, my goodness. But, uh, you have no first-hand experience, so to speak, <laughs> with that, hand. right? <laughs> no, I, I know lots of fishermen in the Amazon who've got scars and sort of ends of their fingers split in two where they were bitten. Because if you're just cleaning fish in the water, you know, these, you know, cutting up your food, ah, they will come they along. Come they... One moment's carelessness and the fish that are, you know, the piranhas that are feeding on the fish guts will, will have a bit of your finger. 
Jeremy, thank you so much. It's fascinating stuff, and we love your show. Thanks very much. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.